So many earbuds, so little time. We tested 20 of the best true wireless earbuds and here are the best so far of 2021. Khuldah, we are DHRME. Does headphones reviews for making earning? So for the most amount of bass, I think the Earphone Free 2 and the Earphone Free Pro are really slamming earbuds. Now for quantity, there's a bunch of other buds and in general, you'll find that the lower end buds are very bass focused. From the mid-tier, the Jabra Elite Active 75T and to some extent the 85T also has a lot of slam for those of you looking for low end to shake your low end. But we're talking here about the quantity primarily for the best balance, resolution, texture and generally quality of bass that's refined and isn't too much. We like the Sony WF-1000XM4s and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. The edge goes to the Sony if you're a tweaker. You get a graphical equalizer with a separate slider for bass. But we'll talk more about sound in general a little later. So stick around till the end. If there's anything we all have in common in this pandemic is the increase in the amount of phone calls we make. So having earbuds that are equipped with good functioning microphones are important if you want the other person on the call to continue talking to you. In our testing, we can clearly vouch for the Bose QuietComfort earbuds as the overall go-to for phone calls, since they maintain the best voice clarity in quiet conditions or with noisy background sounds and does a passable job in windy situations as well. If you want to hear how they sound on phone calls and compared to several other close competitors, then check out this video linked up above and in the description box down below. In that video, we have created binaural audio samples so you can experience how the microphones perform firsthand. Don't forget to use headphones in watching that video in order to get the best experience. We see you thinking and asking yourself, but what should I get if I need those Fakman controls? Well, if you need phone call controls straight on the buds and want to minimize the need to pull out your phone, then the Jabra Elite 85T or Active 75T should be your pick. Many earbuds just do the basics of answering or hanging up a phone call, but the Jabras give you volume controls and the ability to mute and unmute calls with a push of a button. Good thing to note is that while they're not on the Bose's level of microphone quality, they do a decent job, especially in quiet and noisy environments. We've said it before, you don't need to spend a lot of money for good true wireless earbuds these days. With Sony, Bose and Sennheiser all touching the $300 or euro mark, you can still get a little less for a lot less. The ones we've tested that we've really liked are the Earfun Free 2 and the Edifier TWS NB2 Pro. Both sound great for the price class, are quite comfortable and don't look like cheap knockoffs. Well, at least the Edifier doesn't. For a little bit more, you can get decent ANC with the One More Comfo Buds Pro, which sound very much like the AirPods Pro to us. Now, don't kill us because we didn't feature your favorite earbuds. Leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do because the budget true wireless world is exploding right now with one being released every few days or so. Since September 2020, there has not been a single pair of earbuds that we've tested on the channel to beat the almighty king of keeping out noise. And that is none other than the Bose QuietComfort earbuds. They are hands down the best for pure noise cancelling in general. When it comes to different noise frequencies, either low end rumble or engine noises or mid to high end noises like cafes, Bose allows you to set three favorites ranging from letting in ambient sounds to full noise cancelling so that you can switch on the fly. If you're not feeling the Bose for any particular reason, we can think of a few, then we'd recommend taking a look at Sony's latest WF-1000XM4s, which do an overall decent job at noise cancelling. In this category, it's not only about keeping out noise, but sometimes you need to interact with the real world. Yes, it's annoying, we know. Introverts! Assemble. For those situations, the AirPods Pros come to mind very quickly as their transparency mode feels very close to not wearing earbuds at all, as opposed to other buds which either have a certain white noise you can hear or the ambient sounds don't sound natural. 
And if you wish to fall far from the Apple tree, then the Galaxy Buds Pros from Samsung might be an option too. We've lauded these buds for their superhuman hearing because on top of sounds being let in, they can also be amplified by simply dragging the slider. If you're wondering how the noise cancelling and transparency modes perform, then experience it for yourself by watching this video where we made binaural tests of several earbuds. Make sure to listen while wearing headphones to get the best experience. But now we move on to moving and working out. When picking earbuds for workouts, you're mainly concerned with three things, the fit, comfort, and waterproofing. For comfort, check out the dedicated category on that. But speaking of fit and waterproofing, the last thing you want is having the buds constantly fall out of your ears or breaking because of your bodily and environmental liquids. This is a tricky category because the secureness of fit is partially determined by the earbud design and partially by the type of ear tips you use. But we've got to look at what you get out of the box with the buds and with keeping that in mind we'd recommend going with the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds which are IPX4 rated and due to the way the flange ear tips and the wingtip design hooking securely into your ears concha but do note that wearing them like this is the proper way. A close second are the Earfun Free Pro or Free 2, which are IPX5 and IPX7 rated, respectively. The Free Pros also sport a different, but still a wingtip design, which keeps them in place, and the Free 2s are just shaped in a way which make them sit nice and firmly in your ear. An honorable mention here to the Jabra Elite Active 75T, which are IP57 rated, but unfortunately didn't make the cut because of the tips included in the box. But with third party tips, they quickly rise to the top of the list. Now we can hear you thinking, what about bone and air conduction headphones? Since this video is about earbuds, we've kept them out of scope. But if you're interested, we've already done a video on an air conduction set and stay subscribed because a video on the aftershocks is about to shock you very soon. Your ear holes are not my ear holes. If you don't like rubber tips or gels, you can always choose the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live or the OG AirPods, which just rest or sit on your ear. Sound quality and ANC will suffer, but hey, we're talking about comfort right now. For the penetrative buds, I always choose the Jabra Elite 85T. Their oval shaped ear tips are a winner in my book and I don't get any skin irritation or pain after long hours of use. One More's Comfort Buds also live up to their name and are light and comfortable. And ditto for the Airfun Free 2. And then the AirPods Pro are light and even though they sometimes fall out of my ears, I can't deny that they're super comfortable. In terms of staying in my ears, the Bose QC Buds are some of the best buds due to its fins and the flange design of the tips. Sound means a lot of things to a lot of people, but broadly there are two groups when we talk about sound. Those who like the exaggerated sound, you know, bassy, very V-shaped, and those who like balanced sound. I hesitate to use the A word here. We already talked about bass specifically at the top of this video, but cutting to the chase of favorite sounding true wireless earbuds, shock surprise scandal is the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. No one, not even us, thought that a Samsung product would be the best sounding earbuds, but man, were we wrong. From the presentation to the detail to the stock tuning, we just enjoy these for music listening. That AKG acquisition really seems to be paying off. Nothing does it better, not even the newly released Sony WF-1000XM4. These are also what I would call a more fun sound signature. Now, the Sonys are also very good with their LDAC support, but the Samsung just edges out the Sony in our view. The advantage for the Sony is the graphic equalizer that does a good job in transforming the buds to your liking. Then there is the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 with their very smooth and mids focus sound. Just putting the three frequency response curves together, you can see why they're so different. There is of course much more to talk about sound and there are some very good contenders including the budget buds we talked about. But if you ask us which ones we reach for when listening to music, it's these three. Now all this is fine, but which ones do we reach for without having to go through this process of thinking? Which one is like the more complete package? 
Well, for most use cases, since I can get them to sound fairly decent by EQing and turning off ANC, they're the only true wireless earbuds also on this list that can connect to two devices at once. And they are comfortable and compact and they are wireless charging and quick charging. I always find myself reaching for the Jabra Elite 85T. Now they're not perfect. They've got some downsides, but you know, which buds don't. And since I also have more than two Apple devices, I often keep the AirPods Pro around since that's a bit more of a sure thing in terms of connectivity. If I had to sit down and listen to music, however, you can check out the sound quality section for my favorite buds for music. What about you, Kevin? Since I'm currently using a MacBook and an iPhone to work from home, I look for reliable earbuds that are comfortable to use, good for phone calls in a quiet environment, and work well between my two main devices. And that's the reason I gravitate quickly to the AirPods Pro. But when I'm being a bit more active, then I'll grab the Jabra Elite Active 75T with third-party ear tips. They fit securely, have great water and dust resistance, and give me the ability to adjust volume straight from the buds. Do you think we missed any earbuds? Leave a comment down below. Who knows, next time we'll test like a hundred. You've been relieved of decision fatigue. And we've been DHRME. Namaste. Namaste.